In this video we're going to learn how to replace the front wheel of your E4 Plus which is what has the motor in it and the electronic uh, braking. So to start with we need to get to the bolts itself. These are hidden uh, by the fairing here uh, which in turn is hidden, the bolt remover is hidden by this reflective sticker. So you just use a little knife to get underneath it as so and you can peel that off gently. Keep that because you're going to want to put it back on so it looks pretty. And then do the same again on the other side. And then you'll see that you have two little grub screws in there that you need to undo to get these plastic parts off to get to the wheel nut itself. So now we've removed the uh, reflective decals from the front there, we can take this bit of fairing off to expose the wheel nut itself. It's just uh, two very small Phillips screwdriver bits. You need a very small screwdriver to get in there though, and that can be removed and set aside. And you can see the wheel nut there, but we've also got this piece of fairing here that we also need to remove with the four Allen keys. Um, but before I do that, I'll just take off the matching piece from the other side there. And then we can take off this part here, which just requires the Allen key. So once we've undone all four bolts there, this part here can clip out, be careful to do it gently, and then we can get to the wheel nut as you can see there. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the same on the other side first of all though, but note on this side, there is a cable in place as well for the motor. Okay, so then we can get to the bolt here. Uh, it's an 18 millimeter uh, spanner, but you can just use an adjustable as so. And then we can lift the wheel out, like so. As you can see, your wire is connected here, so we also need to then disconnect that wire. So now we've got to take this part off to get to the connection for the motor. Um, I'm going to skip ahead, um, but do please check out our previous videos on how to remove the battery and then the controller. Um, but as you can see, I've already undone this here, and now I'm just going to whip these out really quickly. Here I've spun the scooter around uh, just to show you um, easier on the camera basically. Um, but what we need to do uh, now that the battery is out and the controller is uh, unmounted, you don't need to disconnect everything like in the uh, controller changeover video. Um, but right now it's fully connected. We haven't disconnected anything there. All we've done is unbolt it from the deck. Um, what we need to do is then disconnect the uh, front wheel uh, motor from the controller itself. Um, but first of all, we need to get access to it. So we need the rubber grommet to come out, which can be quite stiff. Um, if it is stiff, you can just use pliers. Uh, then this cable can move freely. And as you can see, that's the cable there. So the cable to the front wheel has two parts, one being uh, number one, which is for the brushless motor, and one being number three, which is for the speed regulator. So we're gonna disconnect each part, speed regulator, and then the motor part. Remember to keep the electrical tape. Pull these apart. And then the cable can move freely. We are then going to have to pull this through here. And then this was already loose. We can then pull this out and exchange it. Okay, so now we're gonna put the wheel back in. Um, obviously it wasn't faulty before. Um, this is the same wheel that I'm putting back in there, um, but we'll pretend the first one was faulty and put a working one back. So obviously first things first, um, we need to make sure that we put the wire on the right side, that way around, not that way around, because the wire goes in through here. So we'll just drop that in place making sure that the washers go on the inside of the fork, not the outside. That's very important. Do that to finger tight. Then we've got to feed this part back through that hole to come out of there. Now a nice little hack to make life easier is to tape it all together to make it a smaller um, point to get through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, make it as small as possible, just to make life that little bit easier for us. and then get feeding. You 
you can immediately see it coming through very easy to get through and then we can untape this so then once this has come through we just reconnect it so the white clip for the speed regulator and then the motor remember blue to blue yellow to yellow and green to green and then we're ready to put the screw the motor back into place so i'm just going to go ahead and screw the controller back onto the deck now um, check out some of our previous videos on how to do this and put the battery back in so i'm going to fast forward on to putting the deck cover back on and reassembling the front wheel so now that we've got the deck back in place uh, we need to tighten the wheel nuts up and then we need to put the fairing back on and poke this wire back for a little bit so i'm just going to go ahead and pop that back in it can be a bit tricky because obviously it's a tight fit to make it waterproof but it will go and we're just going to go ahead and tighten up these wheel nuts make sure they're nice and tight and then we need to put the fairing back on and remember the wire has to go within the fairing and um, so they are different before we go ahead and put the fairing back on make sure you get the right one for the right side uh, the drive side with the wire has got the channel for the wire and the other side has not Okay, so with both sides now in place, we just need to put on those last two bits of fairing and then the reflective stickers. Again, remember to make sure you put the right side on each side here. Okay, with all the fairing back in place, we just need to pop these stickers neatly back on, like so. One side and the other side. And that is how to change the front wheel on your E4 Plus e-scooter.